It's December. Oh my God! Let's turn, let's turn that way off. Okay, it's December. Oh, twenty fourth. No, twenty third. Twenty third. See, like I would be like a fail at Vlogmas because I don't even know what day it is every day. I gotta like think about it. Such a, I'm such a foghead. Um, and I am heading out on December twenty third at uh, eleven fifty three. Um, when I was supposed to go out like at nine, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so like procrastinationist. What? I'm such a procrastinator. So I'm going to finish the shopping and I'm going to get it done. I need to find some unique things for Daniel, just some couple of things for him to open because it's really hard. He he's got a room full of stuff and um. I don't know, you know, it's like, mm, I could get him a balloon and that would be a thrill for him. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll get him like a big Santa balloon. Um, and then I was looking at Yogi bows, but I was going to put them in one of those, but they're really expensive. And I don't know, I'd have to have the physical therapist kind of try it with me because I don't know if it's good for his spine. Anyway, um... I, you know, I, I got a desk full of stuff at home I'm supposed to do, like bills and phone calls, but I got to get shopping done because Christmas is like tomorrow night, <laughs> but we don't do that much at night anyway. I don't even know what we're doing this year. We, we've had some ups and downs and it, it, it's, it's never very stable in my house. So, um, yeah, but the kids are good. Everyone's good. Everyone seems to have a little cold, a little sniffle, a little sinusy thing, but tis the season for that. So, anyhow, I am off. I'm gonna hit the road. I gotta drop off a giant tuba. Yep, tuba, 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 tuba. Um, hit the bank, get some money uh, if there is any, and then um, maybe grab a coffee and drop off four or five prescriptions because I gotta get a bunch of stuff filled because I'm sure CVS is closed on Christmas Day and I never want to run out of medications because that's like my worst fear um, for Daniel, especially. And then go through all my coupons and um, I dread going to the stores. I just I just get all sweaty and like dizzy and like frustrated. <laughs> I don't know, but I enjoy people. And so that's the way it is. Oh God, help me please. Look at the line to go into the mall. It's so long. Everybody just cut me off. Go ahead, cut me off. I don't care. Everybody in the same line so we can go get some Christmas presents. I don't like living here. <laughs> I should be somewhere where there's palm trees and warm air because it's dark and gray and icky, pooky, yucky. At least if there was snow, it would be nice, but it's been snowing the past couple of days, but it doesn't really stay. It just sort of flitters around the air. It doesn't do anything. Anyhow, that was totally random, but I'm on my way into the Danbury Mall, which is over there. Um, not my favorite place to go, but this see, see, because this is what happens to me, right? Plus, this van is really hard to park, but this is what happens to me. Everybody talks to me. I don't know what it is. Like, I get people, old people, young people, disabled people, people everywhere. I mean, I can be just sitting down minding my own business and someone will come and sit, just sit and talk to me. I don't know why that is. Why does everybody like talk to me? I do talk back. I mean, I'm friendly enough, but I don't know. Maybe I just have a vibe or something. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know why people talk to me <laughs> because I never get anything done because I this the last time I was here I was like chit-chatting away with like a half a dozen people up and down the mall you know it's like it's not social hour it's shopping hour ah oh my god it's so crowded look at all the cars <laughs> so I'm at the mall and I'm very tired but I'm not going home until I finish my shopping. Resolution! <laughs> Heading into Lush. Thanks. See you later. So I'm sitting in the mall in a quiet place near JCPenney and I'm really tired. And um, I think I have almost everything done. I have to go to CVS and get medicine. 
and some stocking stuffers and a couple things for Daniel which um, yeah I have some ideas I'm gonna go to the little toy store that's near our house and um, I'm also gonna get him a speaker for his room I think so we can play music up because we don't really have a speaker system in there and anything I can find that has lights or is relaxing for him Sure, I'll find something. I just am so tired of them all. I'm doing a good job. I miss my kids today. I'm all by myself. How was your dinner? It's great. Nice to have an impromptu out to dinner, huh? What's that? I love spontaneous things. Because, you know, this is what happened. And then I'll put a camera on. Like, we were going to go shopping, and John called and said that there was a lot of traffic on the highway, so I was already here at the mall. So now we're in the Christmas tree shop now. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> okay, Cheesecake Factory. We just had a great dinner, and I'm bringing some cheesecake home for Sarah. Cause, yeah, this is really special. Thank you. Bye. Oh, it's nighttime. It's dark. Yes, it is. I'm driving home. I am in Sandy Hook, about to take a right. And oh my gosh, that is so cool. This is, um, if you've ever heard of the Hunger Games, Suzanne Collins actually lives, um, her family lives right here. And I don't know if you can see it in the dark. Some jerk behind me or I turn my lights off. I have never seen cooler Christmas lights in my life. They're freaking awesome. Look at that. She's so creative. They're just like random strands of lights strewn from the trees. Oh my God, with colorful things on the bottom. That is like the most clever idea. So, so what's wrong with his hair? It looks like it's a 1982 called. And said, Look I got at me. Your fro. Um, Let me you see you. I'm gonna get a picture of Uncle Bobby's high school picture. It looks oh. exactly the same. He had a fro? Yeah, he had one of those. Bobby things. had a fro? He had a big curly, bushy. Uh, oh, I can't imagine Mr. Like, Uncle like Bobby. Really? I was just yeah. about to call Uncle Bobby. I've Mr. only Bobby. known him with short hair. Christmas tree and. What's this show called? Annoying dog. Jeopardy? Jeopardy. Humpy uh -huh. dog. Shh, shh, shh. Annoying man. And ready to go to bed. I update the number of subscribers in my head. I just went to two, six. Now I'm going to bed. Henry, come on. Time to, whoops. Time to go to bed. Let's hope it grows more. Come on. Yay! I am so tired. I am so tired, Daniel. Daniel. I need to redo this board. I like sea turtles. So I just gave Dave a really nice smelling candle. You like my glasses? I never wear my glasses. Um, here's my favorite wrappers. You ready? Um, because I can't get my wrapping done. I'm like so tired. I'm like at the ball, right? So I'm like, I'm going to get everything done. And um, oh, I can't wear these. Awful. And I'm like, I'm going to get everything done. I'm going to get home, get it wrapped, you know. But then I ended up running into John. And then we ended up going to eat dinner. And then we were like, all oh, like, let's talk. And then this is this and that is that. And then I had to drive home. And then I started to get tired. And then I had to put together some little gifts for the for Daniel school um, I can't do very much but I had really good really good coupons um, for Bath and Body Works so basically what I did was I bought these little bags at the dollar store and just like wrapped up with really pretty ribbons um, some nice hand lotion because I have a ton of therapists and um, one two three four and then the nurse and then the um, the teacher and it's nice lotion. It's really nice. So anyway, I did that, and that is done. That is this year's little treat. I always do something different every year. Anyhow, that's done. I gave Dave that really, really good evergreen candle. Um, he's going to love that. And because, you know, he's got a girlfriend live together, so I thought he might like that for his house. I don't know why. Because this stuff, I don't know. Oh, my God. 
Um, so Dave just left and I really need to go to bed, but Henry needs to go out. So before I take Henry out, I thought I'd show you these guys because I was playing with my um, stuffed animal friends. These are the wrappers. So while I was wrapping, I was wrapping with my wrappers. Thank you, Hip Hop Randy. Thank you. That was lovely. That was lovely. We'll do it again tomorrow, okay? Yes, yes. You're a good little bear. Yes, you are. You are too, Mr. Mouse. You are too. I know. You're good friends. It's December 23rd. I'm at the middle school. It's almost 3 o'clock. Thomas has his saxophone lesson in there now. And then he goes to the high school for another practice. Henry's being good, good, good. I took him for a walk like I should. I even picked his poop off the floor, off the grass. Because I had a little bag, now he's got a happy I really am bored. I want to go home. I don't know what to do to bring my smile. It's raining and it's really yucky. It doesn't even feel like Christmas. Maybe I should just take a nap and then I will feel like I really can't rhyme, but I like to sing a song. It really does suck. Don't sing along. All right, so here I am at the middle school waiting for my son, Thomas, who is uber talented and having his lesson with his really uber great teacher, Beth. Um, it is the last day of school before the holiday. All the children are gone. And my son is one of the very few who's always still there playing his sax, doing his thing. I don't know. He's just amazing. I told his teacher that he was getting a, um, a five-string guitar for Christmas. And he was like, really? This kid is amazing. Ju Julie, he is absolutely incredible. And it makes me just like go, what is wrong with him? <laughs> No, he seriously has, like, um, some kind of natural talent. I don't know. Maybe he needs to go to, like, a special school or something. Anyhow, he was having fun in there. So, this is what's going on. I woke up really kind of feeling sick. But I've been pushing myself through the day. I stayed local to town. I have not grocery shopped yet. And I have so many things still to pick up. Little, little, little things. Really, if I don't get them, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, and I just went to CVS and I'm sitting here going, oh, I forgot the blah. Oh, I forgot the, uh, oh, whatever. <sighs> Tired. So I went to the little toy store and I found some kind of kooky toys for Daniel that he might enjoy. And um, the oxygen is getting pm'd today have you had your oxygen machine pm'd lately because you should uh it's very important you don't want to have anything blow up on you in your house i forget most people don't have oxygen in their house but um 
that they're coming today. Uh, I'm waiting for some supplies. I'm just tired and overwhelmed with everything. Um, I really am just completely exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally. I just don't have anything left here. Um, oh, I don't know. <sighs> it's just too much. It's way too much. I'm kind of worrying actually about Daniel because he's having some problems with his belly. And I don't know what's going on. And I keep thinking about two of the kids in my group who I know. I mean, I don't know if there are others, but I know two are in the hospital at this very moment, wherever their hospitals are in the country, you know, with RSV pneumonia, real, real sick. And I can't help but just keep thinking about them because we've been there a couple times, you know, you know, critically sick in the hospital over the whole holiday season. It is completely heartbreaking. And most people are just going through their motions, singing their songs, la, 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 not even thinking about the people who are stuck in the hospital. But until you're one of them, it's something that kind of comes back into your mind. Like, remember when we were in the hospital and how hard that was? Um, it, it's very hard mentally. It's just a really, really hard time to be sick. Um, it's worse when it's your child. It's even worse when they're really sick where it's like life-threatening. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's kind of my rant for today. I'm watching all these teachers come out with all their little presents and their big smiles. It must be like psyched to have a break. Here comes Thomas. So, now I'm taking him to gold jazz band practice at the high school. He's only 13, but he goes to high school jazz band. Whatever. Here he is. Here's the boy. The miracle man. Ah, the the awesome. There he is. There he is. Oh, hello, Thomas. How are you, honey bun? Oh, you good boy? That's water. Just dump it. That was Henry's. I didn't say throw it at the van. Sweet. Uh, just go in the car. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Really nice. Get in. What? Get in. Just, just put that on the floor. My coupons. Do you need to wipe the the water? I got a towel. Stop it. What the hell's on your hand? Oh. What is it? It's a Christmas tree. <laughs> don't worry about it. Why do you write on yourself? I don't write on myself. Oh, someone else drew it? Yeah. Who, your girlfriend? I am single. You broke up with her today? I've always been single, Mom. See this cute kid right here? He's single. Oh. He's looking for a girlfriend. Half of, more than 50% of your viewers are over the age of 20. We're but they have children, honey, your age. No way. You never know, huh?